Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to be going over date calculations in Tableau. So I've connected to the sample Superstore data source uh, that comes with Tableau and I've just put uh, an order date out here and I started with a date calculation. So if you don't have this part of the calculation uh, you can expand it by just clicking this thing and to get to it, uh, you can click on any measure or dimension and then go create calculated field. All right. And now I'm actually going to get that out of the way so I've got a little bit more room. All right. So now I'm going to go to this drop down and I'm going to show you the date calculations. So the first one we have is date add. So date add does a simple thing. It just adds whatever date part you put here. So month, day, quarter, year, and then interval is the integer amount you want to add to the date that you put in the last argument. So in this case, let's do order date. Uh, so we're going to do date add. I'll go down to it, press tab, it'll auto complete. So what part do we want to do? In the example, they do month, so let's do day. And we're going to add, uh, let's do 15 days, and the date will be, we'll use order date. So let's apply that. And you can see the calculation here. We've got order date, and it's just adding uh, 15 days to each one of these. So very simple. Uh, we could put other things in here. Let's do quarter. Uh, we don't want to add 15 quarters. Let's add two. Let's apply that. So you can see. Two quarters is about uh, six months, so it's adding six months. All right, so date diff function. This returns the difference between two dates. So if we do date diff, let's do uh, date part. Uh, what do we want to calculate the difference of? Let's do year. Uh, just to be a little bit different from the example. Start date uh, and end date. So the start date we're going to do the order date and the end date we'll do today. So today is a function that will give you today's date whatever it is. So let's go ahead and apply that. And you can see there's three years uh, between so it's 2018 when I'm recording this video uh, and this is 2015 so you can see that's three years if you go down, um, the calculation works appropriately. So if you want to calculate uh, the amount of months between something, or years, or quarters, and so on, uh, you can use this function. The date name, I don't use this one very much. Uh, basically, you put in what you want, either month, day, or year, in order to return uh, the name of it. So in this case, month of this, so here's the month portion, and that's the fourth month is April, so it just prints out April. Um, so I'm not going to say too much more about that one. Date parse, um, it'll just reformat the date. Um, I, I also don't use this one very much because you can just reformat the date uh, in Tableau as well. Date part. So date part is uh, kind of similar to date name, but it returns the number portion instead of a name of it. So here, month, uh, the same date, it'll return this four. If you put in day, it'll return 15. If you put in year, it'll return 2004. Uh, date trunk is actually a useful one for me. Um, so date trunk is something that I use. So if we do date trunk, um, Let's do, uh, let's do week. Uh, they do quarter, we'll do week, um, date. So the date we'll put in is the order date. Tab to autocomplete that. And you can put the start of the week. Um, so that's just uh, something that you put in that says, do you want to start on Sunday or Monday? Uh, so let's just apply that. And you can see what happens is it truncates it to the start of the week if we put in week. So you can see all these are in the same week. So if I want to group these together, this is a good function to do that. 
on a weekly basis. Um, if I want to group things together by the month, then I can do it this way. So you can see it truncates it down to the nearest month, or down to the month. So all the ones that are in uh, January, it gives you a January 1st date. All the ones that are in February, it gives you a, a, a February 1st date, and so on. Or you could do quarter uh, and multiply that. And you can see anything that's in the first quarter is going to go down to uh, January 1st. And then as it moves to the second quarter, it's going to go to April 1st and so on. So it's kind of grouping all of those in that in those different quarters together. So day uh, just returns the day portion of a date. Very simple. Is date. So if for some reason you need to check if a certain thing is a date, then you can use this. If you're using it in an if statement or something, it'll resolve as true or false. Max. Uh, I've never used max as a, as a date function. I'm not really sure what this is. Min, again, I assume it works the same as uh, max and min. So you can use max and min for date functions in order to return the highest date or lowest date. I think that's why they put it under the date, uh, date function category. It, it's more like a number function, though because dates are actually stored as numbers, so it does the same thing. Month, so month, similar to day and year, it'll return the month portion of it. Uh, now, now is uh, the same as today, except now will give you the time portion, whereas today will just give you uh, the day portion of it. So if you need something very specific, you can use now, um, and it'll give you the, the time. Uh, otherwise, I would say use today because it'll truncate it down to the day. And then the year function, like I said, it will return the year portion of a date. So those are the date ca uh, calculations. Um, I would say the most useful one that I use is date trunk. Uh, date difference uh, is one that I also use sometimes. Um, min and max I will do on dates just to see what's kind of the range of dates that I have in my data source uh, to see if my uh, tables refreshed and things like that. And today I use quite frequently to pull in the latest date if I'm doing like relative references to a specific date. All right, well that's date calculations. I hope you guys learned something and you can start using these in your Tableau dashboards. Thank you very much.